The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. Next on Life Today, Dr. Don Colbert and his wife Mary show you the most effective way to burn fat, balance hormones, and lose weight by getting into the keto zone. So it starts shutting off the appetite, but not only that, the mind thinks clearer. Mm -hmm. The energy level increases, the sleep improves. Absolutely. And then something amazing happens. All of a sudden, the people say, hey, I don't feel like I used to. I used to have aches and pains. It's anti-inflammatory. Yeah. I'm smiling, I'm, I'm happy, and uh, normally I'm James Robinson, Betty and I, we uh, have someone come on and talk about eating and uh, diet, no one likes to hear the word diet, we diet and diet and die dieting, it looks like, <laughs> it's sick of, di of dieting, and I've had a lot of great uh, teachers, and, uh, and I believe what they say, and uh, I've tried every kind of program. But I had a problem. I had an appetite problem that seemed to be bigger than my will. Betty said to me one day, just in passing, said, you know, you have to make a choice. You gotta choose. And we were talking about even physical exercise. Mm -hmm. Just keep moving. It doesn't mean you go to the gym, be a gym rat. That doesn't hurt if you can do it. <laughs> but just, just keep moving. And, uh, and Betty said, just make up your mind. But we both went through I don't know, I guess, you know, I'm 75. She never wants me to tell you how old she I'm is. I'm 75. Oh, she <laughs> confessed it. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She's well, they say confession is good for the yeah, Nobody believes it. That's right. <laughs> but here, here's the thing with both of us. We're not, we're not planning to go anywhere, and we're going to the best place there is in the whole, whole uh, universe, and that's eternity in the presence of God. And be there with a lot of people who said goodbye to, including our daughter. But you see, I'm, I'm so full of life and joy that I know what happened to me was so that I can be here as long as he wants me here and be effective. And Betty feels the same way. Well, we know that my appetite controlled me. That's why everybody came here would direct most of their counsel to me. And I'd always be a good listener and agree with them. And I would take some shots at things. But it was only when I got this book from our executive television director, vice president of all, all of our media, his wife gave this book to Betty. Now we have Dr. Coburn on. He'd come on, he was with our son Randy and with, uh, with, with the Sheila, and we know we would have enjoyed it. We just happened to be out where they did the show. This changed our lives, both of us. And it's a, it's a way to eat. It's called the Keto Zone Diet. Dr. Coburn published this book. I've, I've never enjoyed anything so much. I feel better. I have energy. It's just changed everything. Well, let's talk about it. Dr. Colbert says it's just changing their lives. It's changed their lives and lots of lives. Changed his wife's life. Mary wants to tell you. Would you welcome Dr. Colbert and his wife, Mary, to life today? Mary, thank you. Don, you've really been a tremendous blessing. And, and here's the deal. Uh, you know, you don't, we don't vain glory. I, I don't believe I'm, I don't believe I'm gonna have a problem with my appetite that God gave us to appreciate something right. good controlling me and hurting me. And it was hurting me, and I knew that it was. Mary, you said you believe people need a wake-up moment. We had that wake-up moment when we just kept realizing that it looks like old James is never going to be able to control his eating. I'm never going to look like Mr. America, okay? <laughs> I'm never going to be the big, fit, great guy. I understand <laughs> all that, okay? But, boy, you lose, you know, you lose 25 pounds and you do it over a steady period of time, mm -hmm. which probably took me, Doc, I'm gonna say a couple of months, and maybe maybe I wavered a little bit, not because of changed anything, but just kind of up and down. But I feel like a new person. Is that typical of what 
Happen. That is typical. This book should have been named The Keto Zone Lifestyle because it is a lifestyle. And people can follow this the rest of their life. Absolutely. And see, I got into this over 10 years ago when I had advanced cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And I'd put them on this Keto Zone diet years ago, and many had stage four cancer. And this was the only thing that I knew of that could prolong their life. And for some, they overcame their cancer. Mm -hmm. Wow. But then I took it, I noticed that cancer patients with diabetes type Two diabetes and start reversing their type 2 diabetes. I, I have no sign of it. I've had it, you know, and there is no sign. It never measures, not in any right. kind of right. test, not the long blood test. Amen. It's just, Praise it's God. Amazing. That is it's, awesome. It's, it's an amazing thing. And, and see, you, when great. you get the highs and the lows, you can just almost pass out. Right. And I mean, and when I found out it could damage my eyes, yes. and I had my eye doctor explain to me what's going on and why is he checking so carefully? Because of what starts That's happening right. to your eye, and it can exactly. happen pretty quick. Right. So this, this is an amazing thing. It is. But then the, one of the biggest things I saw was what it did for the weight. And what it does, you have a, when you enter the keto zone, you have a metabolic shift where your body shifts from burning sugar as its fuel. Now, sugar includes carbohydrates such as grains, wheat, pasta, rice, corn, potatoes, and carbs. And, and you're going to think starches. right off here now because you're already telling them right there and you told them that's not healthy. No, that, not at deal. all. You'll say, I cannot live without those. That's my first <laughs> yeah, thought. Yeah. I don't miss any of it. You understand? And this is bread. Do you know, it's, you know what sourdough <laughs> bread is and butter and all that? You can have all the butter you want, the right kind of butter. You don't have to wait for it to grass fed butter. Well, you get, here's the deal, the right kind of butter, right? Yes. The deal is this, that none of that do I miss. I, can you imagine cauliflower yes. with the real butter yeah. can taste as good is any potatoes absolutely. you ever ate. Absolutely. Cauliflower mashed potatoes. Right. Absolutely. I don't miss any of it. Well, James, Zero. let me that's, tell that's you what's happened. Be because doc. people say, you know, the mind goes tilt. How can this happen? Well, what happens when you go from burning sugar to burning fat as your fuel, your body undergoes a metabolic shift where you start burning fat as fuel. <laughs> now, when this happens, you enter what I call the keto zone. Absolutely. The keto zone is a state in which your appetite is pretty much almost gone mm -hmm. because Excellent. you're on 70% healthy fat. Yeah, you don't eat as much, but you don't get hungry. Go, honey. No. Yeah. <laughs> go, go. That's, that's the thing I noticed pretty quick was yes. I wasn't getting hungry. You know, so right. many other diets, you just feel like you're starving yes. yourself. Yes, absolutely. Well, but I because explain, you're, yeah. you're, getting, you're using the, the good kind of fat. Yes. There are some good fats. Yes, but what it does, when you eat this fat, it controls these appetite hormones, mm -hmm. the ghrelin. Mm -hmm. The ghrelin goes off and makes causes this ravenous appetite that you have to have food every three to four hours. Mm -hmm. It shuts that down. Yeah. And also the leptin. So many people are <laughs> leptin resistant. Leptin causes us to uh, shut off the appetite, but so many people are leptin resistant that it doesn't work. So it resensitizes the leptin so it works again. So it starts shutting off the appetite. But not only that, the mind thinks clearer. Mm -hmm. The energy level increases, the sleep improves. Absolutely. And then something amazing happens. All of a sudden, the people say, hey, I don't feel like I used to. I used to have aches and pains. It's anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Inflammation starts to subside. The weight, the belly fat literally is being burned as yeah. fuel. Absolutely. And people are ecstatic because what has happened is this. Your body has shifted from burning sugar to burning fat. Similar to shifting from a diesel burning engine to an electric engine. All of a sudden, everything just runs better. Inflammation, you're not producing all those inflammatory mediators that are damaging your mitochondria, that's affecting your energy, affecting your brain. The brain fog clears. All of a sudden, the cobwebs start to go, yeah, and, and you feel good again. This is not environmental speech on electrical transportation. <laughs> this is making a point. He's making a point. All that exhaust and all of it, it's not yes. really the best, okay? So this is not pushing for everybody to get them a golf cart. Right. Faster Absolutely. better. The deal is he's trying to give you an example. Now, Mary, you had what you'd call a spiritual confrontation where you saw reality and I need to do something. You live with a guy that's talking about it all the time. <laughs> all the and yet, you know, I mean, it probably got wet. But what, what shifted your mind to make you well, say that? And did it, did it work? Did it change something? Oh, it definitely changed something. And it was my what I call my aha moment. I saw myself on another television program. And, you know, I just didn't see myself reality as to what I, how far I had just let myself go. I'm busy and I just kind of put Mary on the back burner. And I thought I'll get to her eventually because hmm. I have everything else I've got to do and take care of. 
And I saw myself on a television program and I just went, that is not me. <laughs> and he goes, yes, it is you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just, at that moment, I said, that's it. I'm going to take care of me. Yeah. I've got to take care of me because if I don't take care of me, nobody will. Mm -hmm. And that was my aha moment. And you moment. know, we're here and I know how you feel. I know how much you have people praying for our country. You don't just love your family and your friends mm -hmm. or your church group. You love everybody. And I you do. want everybody to have life. And you know this man is helping people have That's life. True. And so here he Absolutely. is helping you. Doc, this is an amazing thing. You know what I eat most of the time during, during the, the week at night? I eat berries. Yes, I never right thought I'd eat berries. Now, there's certain berries. So healthy. You, listen, it's incredible. <laughs> and I can actually put real whipped cream yes, on it. You can. <laughs> You've got to right. be a crazy doctor. I mean, <laughs> and it's actually working. And right. I lose weight yes. eating that. That's and right. I'm not hungry. Right. And I rest well. And I have energy. Right. I mean, this is the most amazing thing. Is this typical? Or are Betty and I just the <laughs> odd people that have this wonderful experience? Or is this actually if they'll take it seriously, what happens? It's absolutely true, and I've heard this thousands of times. And again, you can make the most wonderful whipped cream with nice <laughs> uh, grass-fed cream, yeah. add some stevia to mm -hmm. it, and yeah. whip it up. And then dip those berries in it. It's great. Yeah. And it never turns forget. your appetite right Once off. Once I started on the program, he, he says, now, Mary, because I, I, I coffee drink in the morning. I'm a coffee drinker. And he says, I want you to put the heavy whipping yeah. cream in. And I looked at him and I thought, are you trying to blow me up? <laughs> no, it, it <laughs> you He think goes, just trust me, Mary, it's going to kill your appetite. You're not going to be hungry until exactly probably right. one or two in the afternoon. And I thought, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It, it, worked. it, it really worked. Yes. Tell us what's going on. We got about five minutes here for you to kind of really take us through. I want everybody to get the book. That's one thing about it. Get the book. And you've got a lot of good recipes in here. Right. And, and I, someday, just when we have time to talk, I'm going to tell you what Betty and I have learned to do. We can go to any fast food place Absolutely and get good you food. You can. I mean, we can go. By I'll give you one example, for instance. Yeah. Let's just take Whataburger, which is a burger right. place. You sure. go there and get their apple cranberry berry salad with balsamic vinaigrette and their balsamic is really good. Hey, they may have them at Burger King. They may have them at uh, all leave of them. Leave the apples off. Leave the apples, apples off. And leave the yes. croutons off. Amen. Leave the croutons right. off. Put and the right kind of dressing on it. Fabulous. <laughs> Just fabulous. So, but see, you, you have can the burger find, without the bun. You know, have the onions on there. The burger, the burger without onions. the bun and with yeah. no spread. And you know, yeah, that's, that's the right. thing I have found real good. quick is how it doesn't take long to fit fix right. a good meal. Absolutely. It doesn't. I mean, not long at all. Not as long as some of the other stuff I used to fix. It wasn't right. so good for me. And you Absolutely. can have real heavy bacon, fatty bacon. Uncured. You describe what it is, uncured or cured or uncured. 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 Nitrite free. And, and, yeah. and with the eggs, and yes. you can fix them several different ways. Yes. Fabulous meal. Yes. <laughs> and what I also tell patients, if people have high cholesterol, if you read the chapter on cholesterol, this will lower your pattern B LDL, bad cholesterol. For doctors who want to put patients on statin drugs, I have a section, Appendix D, that shows you how to get your cholesterol down using the keto zone diet. Yeah. I, I want to say something right here. First of all, thanks, both of you. Thank you. Thank sure. you, and we're going to talk again. You've got another very important message. We're going, to, we're going to talk about this a little bit, but you're going to talk about what happens with natural hormones and what happens when our hormones change. You don't want to miss this. Here's what I want to say to you now. Now, please listen up. We didn't do this program to try to talk about body size and if somebody overweight, because the worst thing that happened to any one of us is to feel like we're unqualified or we're failing or we, we don't feel good about ourselves. That's not God putting that on us. What I found, that this is what really brought me to conviction. It wasn't okay, James is a little bit bigger, you know, he's got, you know, got to buy bigger pants every time he goes to the store and all that, and well, you don't look good, but I didn't, I didn't feel good. The main thing was inside I knew something was controlling me other than God and other my ability to say, let's take care of the temple of God. And when, when the Lord really got a hold of my heart, this is one thing I knew. Nobody made me feel like, boy, you're sure getting big, you're sure big, they're sure big, he's big, she's big. If you have anything happen to you to get you down on yourself, you will never find the hope that God's offering and the help. All the Lord wants to do is help us take care of the body that he made that is the dwelling place of his Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I'm sending someone just like me, me, just like me, not kind of like me, just like me, to live in you, in this body. And the Lord really began to make it clear as I'm on my 70s, heading to the 75th birthday. James, I'm not through. These may be last days, but you're going to be what I want you to be until that day. 
I come or you go to be with me and you're going to be doing what I designed you to do. Not feeling bad, pulled down, wishing you didn't feel so bad, not able to do what I want you to do. And I mean, I, I'm more alive right now than I feel like I was when I was in my 20s and my 30s. You say, you mean it happened because of this diet? No, it happened because I said, Lord, I'm going to take care of this house. And somebody handed me some help to think that I have the fuel in my own body fat to give me the energy. I don't have to eat all this stuff that substitutes for it and shuts down what God made. And when I saw this from a, from a gift of God point of view, it changed everything. And Babe said, there's no way, no way I won't just keep, I'm going to just be a grandma. I'm just, and boy, Honey, you're the finest <laughs> grandma on this planet. You're a great grandma. I mean, you're not only a great grandma, you're a great, great grandma. <laughs> and here's the deal. It worked, and you don't know. For the girl that taught scales or some kind of an attack system, for her to be able to walk out and say, I wait. And she knew, I'm burning my own fat. Something's happened. This doctor told us the truth because he loved us. Well, I think too, it's mainly because I, I started feeling better. You mm. know, I could tell right. a difference. And even I can tell a difference with my, my blood pressure. Sure. Uh, eating the right kind of nuts sure. is really good. I found yeah. out walnuts yeah. are good right. for your Absolutely. blood pressure and other other nuts and stuff. And just, just feeling like I was treating my body Amen. like God created me to be able to That's do. Awesome. And you're eating and mainly living foods, see? But they're God's living foods and His living yeah. oils, olive oil, avocado oil. Mm. That's oh, yes. what we use. Yeah. And avocados are so good. <laughs> and then the avocado, oh my goodness. And the book is really, for, you know, none of, not, we're not doctors like you are, but the book is really easy to read and to follow for the right. layperson. You know, that just it, you, you can read it real fast like that, but you'll right. find yourself marking places in it, folding back so you can go back to a recipe or something, you if, know, because it really makes, it really find, is a good guide. If we find people responding and say, I'm, I'm trying this, I want what we'll do is I'm going to pass them back by you, but I'm going to tell you some of the things we've learned to do on the go, because, you yeah. know, we, we're good. busy people. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, it's amazing. And one of the things, are you, when you watch your habits and the weight maintains the same, does that mean you're likely not going back and picking up bad habits? You don't start putting on the inches. No, but right. is, is that a pretty good measure that can at least give um, you a quick test? Right? Yes, that's good. If, you're, if your weight's stabilized, because once you get to a healthy weight and you stabilize it that way, you're, that's good for most people. Now, if, they're, if they go back to eating sugars, carbs, starches, the weight will creep back up and they'll go out of the zone. This and is telling start... you something though, yeah. it's right. a barometer. It's a warning. Right, yeah. so again, uh, you, it's good to weigh. You know, some people like to weigh daily, some people once a week. Mm -hmm. And that way if they go stray too far, they can get right back on the program. But I encourage people, it's not a diet, yeah. it's a yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. And Absolutely. start following the lifestyle. And then I think this is what's gonna help so many Christians prevent disease, reverse disease, and live to be a ripe, old, healthy age. What I found when something pegs the wrong way, that I've gotta adjust something or right. probably I haven't been moving. Right. I've been reading on the phone. I've been too right. much in the recliner. I've right. never found a workout recliner. Yes. That just really told me up. Now, That's Doc, true. I tell you, you'll be very wealthy if you'll come up with that recliner. Okay? <laughs> I'll help you share it, okay? Now, listen, please. What we've shared is to help you find God's will for you in your life. You are so special. If I thought for one second your feelings were hurt, I would literally get on this floor and weep. I would look you straight in the eyes and say, please forgive me. We're not talking about body size. Right. We're talking about the temple of God. Amen. And I love you and he loves you. And I want you to be healthy and I want you to have the joy that I believe is available to you and for you to spread that joy. Would you say thanks to Mary and to Don Colbert, Dr. Colbert, for being with us. The book is available in the bookstore. I'll tell you what, you help us give somebody water for life, knowing we're going to tell them about the water of life. And we'll send you this book. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to look right now with that other person like Jesus living in you. And I want you to look, and then I want you to listen to what that person, Jesus, his spirit in you tells you to do. Because you're going to find great joy when you do it. 
and it's going to totally change everything. Not just for a few people. It's going to change things for many people. You watch. The first time we came to Burundi, we brought you a story from what used to be a tiny little church right here in this village. Forced to rely solely on unclean water for survival, this community suffered a severe cholera outbreak that took the lives of many, nearly destroying their legacy. Since then, your support has allowed us to drill them a well. And with every new drop of clean, healthy water, life began to return. Hope began to bloom. It's astonishing what transpires when new life is breathed into a community. Not only are the existing families healthier, stronger, and able to focus on more than just survival, clean water attracts new people. And as a village grows, so do the available resources. Today, this community is full of hope and flourishing in ways they never thought possible. And this is their church now, just two short years later. I'm so grateful to come into a place like this and see the impact of our giving and how it has changed everything, something so simple. Water, water that has given them life. And thank you to you, the ones who have given to make this possible. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you for all the people who gave. I want that to be the typical site. Oh, man, thank all of you. I, Betty and I asked God when the wells were $3,600, and at that time, years ago, it was a push on us at the time to start it. We said we want to drill them every time the missionaries bring us the need. And, have another emphasis, and we did it, and then it went to 4,800, we've been doing it. So, boy, we've, we've helped contribute to a lot of places like that, but the deal is 6,000 places like that. You've just turned everything around. I mean, there's so many places, it was just total death. Nothing but burial grounds, but in there, the churches look like double in size. I'd love to have a picture of them when they're all there on Sunday. Our mission team mm -hmm. keeps moving, and they were there mm -hmm. during the week. But isn't that just beautiful to see that? This is the part I love. The smiles on the children's faces. They're jumping up and down like it's Christmas time, you know, just because they have fresh, clean water because it's saving their lives. And the, and the mothers are so grateful that we have come to help their children to live. Thank you so much for everything that you do to contribute and to bring life to these children. Well, I just want to ask you right now, would you would you dial that number that's there as a prayer line? You have a broken heart, and, and here's the thing. We could be facing a, an unbelievable crisis and asking for help, and 80% of the calls at least, 80% of them, would still be people calling that number and say, would you pray for me? I've got a problem, a health problem maybe. I've got a family problem, a child, a grandchild. Would you pray? And you better believe it because we know God answers prayer and we know God comforts you. But right now, I want you to look at that number and think of it this way. It's always a prayer line. Right now, it's literally a lifeline. It's a water line. We're going to give them water for life and you can rest assured we'll be pointing them to the water of life. Would you please right now just go and dial that number? Please do it and see it as a helpline, a lifeline and take your bank card, use it like a check. Would you do it right now? And say, I want to give a well. I want to give toward a well. Most of the gifts that come are $48. That gives 10 people water the rest of their life. 144 will give 30 people water for the rest of their life. The wells are 4,800. Could you give one? 
Could you give 1,200 toward it or 2,400 and pray others join you? Would you please right now dial that number, take that card, it becomes a life card. We have some gifts to send you to say thank you for giving the great gift of God's love in an absolutely undeniable expression. Thank you for doing it. Today, a mother living in extreme poverty will do the unthinkable. Give her children dirty, disease-filled water that she knows could kill them. With no other choice, what's a mother to do? With your help, clean water is on the way. Mission Water for Life provides a way for parents to save the lives of their children, to offer them a bright future free from the fear of death. With your gift today, you can help drill and establish the first 200 water wells of the year. Your gift of $24 will help provide clean water for five children. A gift of $48 will help provide for 10. $72 will provide for 15. And $144 will help provide life-giving water for 30 people for a lifetime. With your gift, we'll send you the Praying Grace 55-Day Devotional. This new devotional will help you renew your mind to the realities of God's grace and help you pray powerful grace-based prayers for each day. With your gift of $100 or more, request the Praying Grace Tumbler. This reusable 16-ounce container is constructed with insulated stainless steel, perfect for hot or cold beverages. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,200 to help provide water for 250 people or a gift of $4,800 to help sponsor a complete well. And you may request the beautiful new commemorative bronze sculpture safe in the shepherd's arms. Please call, write, or make your gift online. Help us give a drink of water, give a well of water, give toward it. Dr. Colbert's book, you can get it online, you get it at the bookstores. You help us give someone water and you want this book, just ask for it, we'll send it to you. Dr. Colbert's gonna be back and he's gonna talk to us about something he thinks in many ways is just as important. Actually, in a way they flow hand in hand and especially well-being. He's gonna talk about hormones and uh, in a very positive and powerful, he says, life enriching way. Would you join Betty and me saying thanks to Dr. Don Colbert, his wife Mary. Thank you both for blessing us. Thank you to Bill Blessing. Thank you for your prayer ministry. Thank you. All that you're doing. Thank you for watching. Thanks for helping us share life. Tell your friends Dr. Colbert will be here at the next show. When we optimize these hormones, it's amazing how people are able to come off medications. Get into the Hormone Zone tomorrow. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.